Joining me now with more, Dana Perino. All right, so what about that? He, he continued to say as a journalist, you have to take a stand on racism and human rights, which does confuse the role of journalist with advocate in, in this reporter's view. And in, and in 2015, that line has been crossed by many people and there is an evolution of journalism. When he says that Univision's p position is this, this is their stated policy position. To that be pro-immigrant. That is choosing a side, and mm -hmm. that's perfectly acceptable. They're, actually, they're not shy about it. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I, I'm not a fan of that tactic in a press conference in Iowa. I do think Donald Trump was, you know, had decorum. He's calling on the reporter. There is this personal animosity because he's got the lawsuit against Univision. He knows and, that Jorge and the Ramos is and the Instagram by the Univision boss. And Jorge yes. Ramos had tweeted out the New York Daily News cover showing Donald Trump in a clown face. I mean, there's you know he's made a choice. Jorge Ramos has made a choice, and it has it's worked very very well for him and for his audience. I understand that they want questions, and I think that they could have probably gotten them, but what he was doing last night was trying to get attention for himself. Donald Trump ended up with attention to himself, which he didn't even plan on. And but he always gets attention. The whole story today is about the exchange and the fight with the reporter, not about the substance of the immigration So plan. is that, I mean, but we, would we be talking about that, you know, the substance probably not. of it, if, he, if Jorge Ramos hadn't done what he did? Probably not, and I do actually think that Donald Trump's a risk taker, okay? And in, when you are advising a candidate or a president, you would say, look, if you want to get ahead, you want to get a, around this issue, high risk to do an interview with Jorge Ramos, mm -hmm. but sir, I think you should do it. And, and did in it. In a couple of weeks, he'll do it. Right. And it, well, did it serve both purposes? I think so. At least they got everybody talking. Mm -hmm. And also, I don't think that, I think you can shout a question at the end of a press conference, mm -hmm. not at the beginning of one. Well, he pointed out, and I hadn't seen this, but he, his point is two questions had already been asked of the, um, the, the Trump staffer. And so the presser was sort of ongoing. He saw an opportunity. I mean, listen, as a journalist, we always stand up. We try to get our questions out, uh, answered. Dana was on the other side for most of us. She doesn't like it. But the thing is, like, we're rude. Know, we, we, we want to get our questions answered. George Bush had a good, like, he had a good look, right? It would be like, Sit down, <laughs> right? It's just like a look. You don't have to like say anything. You, right, you don't have to say sit down. <laughs> yeah, you could do what I would. Well, that wouldn't work. I was just trying to think of other commands. But in any event, Dana, always great to see you. Thank you. Uh, well, we 